Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys an overview of how to edit a twilight image all within Photoshop. So let's get right into that. So if we see over here, this is the final edited image that I had created. So we're gonna just talk you guys through it and I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how this was done. Okay, so these were the four images that I had started off with. These were, I bracketed these images going from overexposed to all the way to underexposed. So I got like very, oh, very dark images here. So what we do when we bracket these images is that I want to bring out the best in each image. So if I start with the base photo, which is actually going to be this one, and then I'm going to be bringing out the best in each one. So like if this is my base photo, I, I probably want to get just a little bit brighter on the on the house and a little bit around it. Same thing for this one. And then this one is like more for like my sky and for like my darker details. So let me just go ahead and show you guys exactly how that's done step by step. So the first one I brought up a little bit more in the house, as you can tell, it gets a little bit brighter in this area. And then we go up to a little bit brighter. I can tell that this is starting to get too bright over here. So I'm going to fix that in a second, but I was able to brighten it the area just a little bit more with this layer. And then for this one, I brought back the sky, as you can see, I was able to bring back the sky. I was able to go ahead and bring out some of that roof back. And then I also, there's a, see, see how I, I, I brought this back as well because I just thought like this was way too overexposed. So I just wanted to bring it down a little bit, make it a little bit more real and too, not too like in your face. And, and then right after that, as you can tell, this house is very, very yellow after, uh, from the start. So probably my white balance wasn't set correctly. So what I did was I just go ahead and removed all that yellow and it makes a big difference from the original because it's super yellow and then it looks all right more natural like more like this is exactly what it's supposed to look like and then i added a little bit of curves i brought some contrast into the roof and some of the other areas as well so i did a little bit of a curves there as you can see it's a little down here too then i had and straightened the image and then i did some touch up because i saw this little thing up in the sky and i was like oh what the hell probably don't want that and yeah, so that's the final image. So let me just go ahead and explain to you guys exactly how I did this, or at least for the um, for the blending, because the blending's a little. So for the blending, let me show you exactly how I did this. So blending is pretty simple. You'll just go ahead and let me duplicate this layer for you guys. All right, so that's duplicated, great. So we're gonna work with this and I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. So let's delete that layer mask. So if you're starting off, you would obviously have your base photo and then you probably, depending on how you wanna go, you can either work with the darks first or you can work with the lights first. So I work with like the lights, so the, the brighter images, so I can get the image to be a little bit brighter. And then once I find that it's bright enough, then I'll go ahead and bring back the sky like I did here. So. We have our we have our layer here, which is our brighter image, and now we want to go ahead and bring back only the brighter parts of it, or only certain aspects of the image. Again, we don't want the whole image. So, what? How do we do that? So, we'll go ahead and create a layer mask. But this layer mask, I'm going to hold down Option, and we're going to click on it, and it's going to be a black layer mask, which is great because we want to hide everything first, and then manually bring back everything. All right, so let's go ahead and hit B, so we can get the brush tool in. Our size for it, we'll go ahead and we can, you know, we can change the size of it however we want. The hardness is always going to be on zero. I always work with it on zero. Mode is going to be normal. Opacity is 100. And flow, I keep it anywhere between 5 and 10%. As for right now, we're going to do 8%. And I'm just going to bracket these so I can bring them up a little bit more. We also want to be on white. If you see that you're on black, just hit X and you'll go right back to the... um you'll go ahead and set that foreground color, that's the background. So we want the foreground to be to be white, not black. And just like so, we'll just go ahead and make sure that we're clicked on the layer and we'll start bringing it back in. Now, 8%, you're not gonna really see much changes right away. So just start, just start brushing it back and then what you could do to easily see how much you brought back 
is you can just go ahead and toggle this on and off. And you can see how minimal it is, but it's there. And then you'll just keep working with it. You can just keep going at it as much as possible. And you'll see that only this area, the area that I'm brushing is what's revealing of that layer. So easy and perfect, just able to do that. And that's how I do it with every layer to bring to brush that in. I also do it for the hue and saturation layer, as, as you can tell, because I had, let me just, I had only wanted to mess with the yellows over the house. So I didn't want to mess. So I had created a hue and saturation hue and saturation layer, I brought down the yellows, and then I used a layer mask on top of that just so that I can only desaturate the area of the yellows on the house and not, you know, everywhere else. So I was able to control that as well. So that's pretty much how you go ahead and delete that. You go ahead and brush those layers all together easily and simply. And then that's just the final result. And of course, you got to make sure your verticals are straight because without them, that would be doesn't look that right. So notice how like my verticals here are off. So I was able to just easily change that. And final image, there you go. So this is a simple, you know, twilight photo, you know, used with multiple exposures for natural. Like there's no flash. I didn't use any flash. I didn't use anything, but it's an easy twilight photo that you can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was just a small brief overview of what it looks like, but I hope you have a better understanding just because I wanted to give you guys a general walkthrough of what it looks like. If you find this video useful or if you liked it, please give it a like, comment down below if you have any questions for me or if you have any video ideas and then subscribe if you already haven't and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.